Okay, here's a quick tutorial then on how to chop up uh, drum beats that come with uh, construction kit CDs. This is uh, something from Big Fish. So there's the tune that's composed of all the sample data, and that comes towards the back end of the audio file. Here's the drum hit. And then some loops. So I'm just going to focus on these hits. We're going to just chop these up and load them into an ultra beat, and then we can turn these loops into Apple loops and use these uh, in a project. So uh, the easy way to do that is just cut out with your marquee tool like this and then I'm gonna go and use the strip silence function here that looks at all of those audio files and I can adjust the threshold and the minimum time here those are the two variables that you'll adjust I'm just getting dialed in here and it's gonna chop these up and leave the air out boom now I'm just gonna go in and fine-tune these uh, more in the sample editor so just double click and that opens up uh, this sound I'll turn on the loop and the uh, preview I want to make sure I'm set to snap edits to zero crossing so when I adjust these handles I won't get any pops or clicks so that sounds great I'm going to name this the text tool kick and then it's just a process of going through the rest of these audio files okay so I've gone through and I've got uh, three hats two snares and a kick drum so the process here is to just select all these go to audio and convert regions to new audio files right here I'm going to put these on my desktop. I'll create another folder here. Call it Big Fish Loops, whatever. And six regions will be saved. I just want to leave all this alone. I want to keep the sample rate and the bit depth. Make them AIF. Say save. Okay, that's done. I'm going to go save this project right now. And I'll put it on my desktop. Now at this point, I want to make sure that I have this box ticked. Copy UltraBeat samples to project folder because I'm going to load these samples now into UltraBeat. So make sure that that's ticked. Create a software instrument. Load in UltraBeat. Multi output. From the library now, these are all the kits that live inside UltraBeat, and we want the uh, drag and drop samples that initializes this instrument. So each of these bays now I can fill with uh, one of those samples. So I'm on sample one here. Load sample. Go to my desktop. Load the kick. And I'll name it. And now I'll just go and load the rest. All right, so I've loaded all my samples. I've got. And now I can compose something with this. I'll just review this one more time. Turn my BPM down. I'll just start with a kick pattern. Something. Okay. Just a basic idea. Um, I can drag this loop now. I want to turn off the sequencer. Set my locators here. I 
I'm going to send these on individual outputs now. So the trick there is go into your mixer. Here's my ultra beat. I think we just need three. We have three sounds here. So I'll send the kick out on mono 17. The snares out on mono 18. And the hats out on mono 19. All right, back over here, I want to change these to mono. And then from the in out, go find 17, 18, 19. And I'll just name these. And now I have control over uh, all my sounds. And now I have control over all these sounds. I can send them all to a bus. And put a reverb on. Just using a short drum reverb. Just using a short drum reverb. And maybe just put a compressor on this then. Go to the default list. There's some great ones here. These Opto Drum Kit. Pass. Compress. A lot more energy. I could go focus on one of these drum loops now and just quickly uh, convert it. So both a ultra beat version and uh, the drum break can be used in a track. I'll just open in the sample editor, tighten this up here. Get rid of that last kick and we should be looping good. Okay, that's done. Now I can convert this to an Apple loop. Here. So I can have these two loops playing along in the same track. Their beat. Here's mine. So I'll just name this track Loop. So I can copy the settings from this track in the mixer. I'll go here, copy channel strip settings, and I'll just put it on this track and paste it. Now they both have the compressor and same reverb, so we should be sounding closer. So Cool.